DreAllDay.com. DreAllDay.com. Topic of this video is the value of using systems. Systems. Now, this is something that I teach systems a lot inside of uh, Work On Your Game University. So, if you are not a member yet, go to WorkOnYourGameUniversity.com. The link's down below in the description to this video. But <clears throat> why systems matter so much? And I was just talking to an entrepreneur today about the value of systems for their business. But I want you to understand systems, not just when it comes to business, by the way. You need know, to understand, excuse me, the volumes, value of systems, even if you don't have a business, even if you work at a job right now, even if you are a student going to school, if you're an athlete playing a sport, if you're not doing anything right now, you're just trying to figure out your life, systems work. And let me tell you why and how uh, they work the way that they do. Reason what a system is, first of all, let me get clear what a system is. And there's a, a definition of a system in the dictionary. I don't have a dictionary in front of me right now because I've done whole episodes in my podcast about this concept of systems. What a system is, is a simple process. If you want to give a different word for a system, is a process. And what makes a this process so important is that it's duplicatable. Duplicatable process. A system is a duplicatable process. It's something that you could do over and over and over again. The same things, the same way every time to get a similar result, a result that you can predict. You can expect a certain result and you get it over and over and over again. And let me tell you why this matters and why everybody who's listening to this right now should have systems in place for anything that you do in which you, you're trying to get the same outcome every time. So for example, when I'm recording this, I'm recording this in early April. 2023 so in the middle of this month i'm running a 10k race and those of y'all don't know i used to play my sport was basketball running is not my sport but i like to run running is pretty simple uh, compared to basketball but uh i like to run in uh, 10k races so i run i've run marathons i run 5ks i run half marathons i've settled on like the 10k distances is like far enough that it's a challenge but not so long that it takes too too much time to train so i don't really like marathons anymore because I don't mind the actual act of the marathon, but the race itself takes too long. I mean, the training itself takes too long, not the race itself. The race is only one day. But training for a marathon takes too damn long because you got to run like 10 miles every time, and that shit takes like an hour and a half. And I'm more focused on my business than I am on running. So 10K is easy. It takes like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So anyway, I'm running the 10K race in a week, and I know that I'm going to come in top three in my group in this race. I know that I am. How do I know? Not because... I'm necessarily the fastest, well, I am pretty fast, but it's because I have a system. I have a system for getting myself in shape. And I know that when I get into a certain shape and when I get into races, I know that there's not too many people in my group and they just do it by age group. I know there's not enough people in my age group that are gonna be faster than me that I'm not gonna finish in the top three. I already know that. Only way I ain't coming in the top three is if I stop in the middle of the race and I ain't stopping. And right now, as a matter of fact, I got a, um, I had to, not run as much as I wanted to getting ready for this race. I had a little hamstring issue, so I took like two weeks off to let my hamstring rest so I could be 100% for this race, even if I'm not going to be 100% conditioning. As long as I'm 100% in terms of health, I'm good. I know I still finished top three, even if I'm not my fastest. And I ran this race last year. I came in first place. So I already know this time, even if I'm not as good as I was last year, I'll still come in the top three. I'm sharing all of that, not because I'm trying to explain to you about running. I'm explaining to you that I have a system for getting in shape. I know how much I need to run. I know how many days a week I need to run. I know what numbers I need to be hitting when I'm doing my uh, training and conditioning. I know, know how much stretching I need to do. I know how I'm gonna use the foam roller after my runs. I know how to put ice on my legs and on my knees after I run. I know if I'm, you know, depending on where I live at the time, because some buildings I live in, they got a jacuzzi that I get in. Sometimes I don't get in a jacuzzi, depending on what it is. I know that recovery process. I know the process for what I do in the days that I'm not running as far as the working out and stuff. I know everything I need to do in the process to get myself, get myself in the game shape that I want to be in. When I was playing ball, for example, I had this thing I would call it the 90-day rule. So anytime I knew I was about to go to some kind of camp or tryout or like exposure event, or I was getting ready for the season. Anytime one of these was coming up, I gave myself the 90-day rule. 90-day rule was the last 90 days before that tryout or camp or before the season started, I didn't want to be doing anything outside of my normal routine. So that last three months, that means I knew which days I was waking up, I'm going to the gym, I'm working out, I'm going to the basketball court working out, I'm going to the, the weightlifting gym working out, I'm doing my cardio. 
but I'm not doing anything to get out of my routine. Meaning, I'm not doing, um, I'm not going on any vacations. I'm not taking any days off for that last 90 days. As long as I followed that system, I was always at my best when I got to the season or the event or the camp or whatever it was. Now, if I didn't play well at that camp, then maybe just the players were just better than me. Maybe that I could accept that. As long as I was in shape and I followed my system, whatever happens, I'm good. Now, if I didn't follow my system and then I get there and I didn't play well, then I knew why. It's because I didn't follow my own system. And you need to have your system. When it comes to your business, making money, you absolutely need to have a system. So when you think about a company like McDonald's or Amazon, why are they so consistent with what they do? Even if you don't think McDonald's food is that good, or maybe you're not that much of a fan of Amazon, or maybe you are, the reason why both companies are very consistent is because they have systems. It's not because every single person who works there is this amazing worker or this genius uh, mind. It's because the system is so tight that anybody can work there and the system is still gonna work because the system is more important than the person. The system is more important than the person. And this applies to you the same way it applies to Amazon and McDonald's. Your system and the systems that you operate by need to be so tight and so dialed in that they are more important than your talent and your hard work and your genius. Let me say that again. Your systems need to be so on point and so dialed in and so consistent that they become more important than your talent, your hard work, and your genius, even if you're the one who made the system. See, my system for getting myself in shape for running in the 10K, if you wanted to run in 10K races and you wanted to do better and be like, you wanted to do much better in a 10K race than you ever thought you could, I guarantee you if I showed you my system and told you what to do and you actually followed it, you would get in much better shape and you'd be you would be going into 10K races knowing that where you're gonna finish in that race before the race even happened. Like I'm telling you right now, I know I'm finishing in top three in this next race that I run. I know I'm coming in top three. Why? Because the system, not because of my talent. I mean, I am an athlete and I, I do think I'm relatively fast, but it's the system that helps me do it. Because I know other athletes who are my size, they got physical capabilities too. They ain't coming in top three in no races. They ain't even getting in the race. Because they don't have they don't have the system that I have. If I gave you my system, you would have the same level of confidence about what you're doing. And imagine if you had this level of confidence about your business. Imagine if you had this level of confidence about how much money you're going to make next month. Imagine if you had this amount of confidence about uh, there's this guy who is a professional speaker. He's in the speaking world. And he would talk about any time that he went and did an event because he would do the kind of speaking. There's different ways you could do speaking gigs. So one way is people pay you a fee and they just pay you to speak. You don't offer anything, you don't sell anything when you're on the stage. You just give your speech, the speech is over, they clap for you, you get off the stage, you take some pictures, you go home. But you got paid up front. They paid you some money just to get on the stage and talk. The other way to speak, and sometimes people can do a hybrid of this, the other way is you tell them you don't have to pay me anything. Just let me make an offer from the stage. In other words, you sell from the stage, that's what they call it. So I'll go speak, you pay me nothing, and then I just make an offer and ideally, I make more money doing that than I would have made whatever you would have paid me as a fee. So let's say my fee was 15K, 15,000. I'll go make an offer. I sell a $1,000 product. If I sell 50 people my product, I made $50,000. That's better than making 15K, right? So this guy I knew, he was a he was the kind of guy who would sell from the stage. He didn't even ask for a fee. Like, y'all, I just want to sell. Just let me sell from the stage. And then the event would get a percentage of whatever he sold. So whatever he sold, they got a percentage and he got to keep the rest. He said anytime that he went to speak, he would do a speaking gig. He knew by the number of people in the audience when he started talking, how much money he was going to make because he knew how much his product was that he was selling and he knew what percentage of people always bought whatever it was that he was selling. So he knew exactly how much money he was going to make every time he stood up, every time he stepped on the stage, depending on how many people there were in the room. I'm telling you all that to say this. That's because he had a system. And he talked about it. He would talk about what his system was like because I had this system. I knew exactly what I was doing. And he would even say in his speech, he said, I knew my speech so cold that if you woke me up in the middle of the night and you said like five words in the middle of my speech, I could pick up right where you left off and just give my speech perfectly uh, word for word without messing up because he had a whole tight system for what he said, how he said it, when he said it. And he knew exactly how many people were going to buy based on the number of people in the audience because he knew exactly what his system was and what his process was for selling from stage. That's a system. 
you need to have that when it comes to any area of your life that is important to you. So you need to know what that is. What are the areas that are most important to you? Now, I'm not saying every single thing in your life you got to do by system, because if you do everything by system, then life can get boring, right? Then you feel like you're a robot. And some people are more, um, what's the word? They more lean to it, for lack of a better term. Some people are more leaning towards that robotic thing where they can be more systematic and do the same stuff all the time, every single day. I'm that type of person. The reason why I can talk about systems the way that I do is I'm that type of person where I can do the same stuff over and over and over and over again consistently every single day to where somebody else can look at that and say, man, that's boring. I don't want to do the same stuff every day. I want some variety. I'm not, I don't need that as much as most people do. Now, some of you might be the type that's more like me, and you might be a type that's a little bit different. You like that variety. You don't have to have a system for everything you do. You don't have to systematize your whole life. But, and some things you can't systematize. Like you got a child, you can't systematize a child. Like kids are random. You can't systematize what other people do. But you can systematize the stuff that you can control. And the things that matter most to you in life, this is important, you should have a system for all of those things. Why? Because the things that matter most to you in life, you want them to be consistent, right? You want to know what you're going to get, right? You wanna know exactly how things are gonna go and you don't want surprises in those areas. The things that matter most to you in life, you don't want surprises. Now, you might like surprises in the stuff that it doesn't really matter how it goes. You might like a surprise for your birthday because your birthday is only once a year. That's random. Well, it's not random, but it's it's once it's few and far between. You only get one out of 365. But the things that matter most to you, like your money, like your physical fitness, like uh, whatever else you're doing. You're playing a sport and you gotta play it. You got 30 games to play in the season. You don't wanna have a good game half the games and a terrible game the other half the games that's inconsistent nobody's gonna pay you for that you're gonna become a pro athlete performing like that so the areas that matter the most you want to have systems for these things and the system is simply a process that you know when you follow this process you know within this range of error basically you know within this range you're pretty much going to get something between this and this every single time so think of somebody like uh, michael jordan lebron james kobe bryant when they're playing basketball were they nice that they didn't really feel like playing? Were they nice they were tired, that they were injured, that their body was beat up, that they had a rough game the night before, that they didn't get a lot of sleep, that they had all some kind of stuff going on at home that you don't know nothing about? Of course, they all did. Every athlete does. But guess what? Every single night, you think of those guys that I just mentioned, every night when they played, almost every single time, 98% of the time, you knew you were getting somewhere between 25 and 35 points from those guys every single game. Now, did they always feel great? No. But did they always perform pretty much to that? Yes. And that's the reason why they became legends. It's not because of what they did in the big moments that everybody was watching. It's what they did every single night, even in the moments when most people would say, well, that quote unquote doesn't matter. They still performed. That's what made them great. And it's the same thing for you. You could take that same idea and apply it to what you do, even if you never played a sport, you never picked up a ball. That's why systems matter. So, And I guarantee you, Kobe, I mean, Kobe literally, at the end of Kobe's career, those of you who remember, it wasn't really the end. It was a few years before the end. But Kobe had a sneaker Nike put out. It was called the Kobe system. You remember that? The Kobe system sneaker? Because Kobe had a system. I guarantee you Kobe came up with I guarantee you Kobe had some input on that title. All right. The Kobe system. It was literally a system. LeBron James has a system for getting in shape and staying in shape and getting ready for the games and keeping his body in shape. And in. I don't know LeBron James. I never heard LeBron say that. But I guarantee you he has a system. Guaranteed. There's no way somebody could be that consistent for that long without a system. Michael Jordan, guaranteed he had a system. And you can think of other athletes that are high performers in their sport. Tiger Woods, in his day, nowadays he his body's beat up. But I guarantee you, even today, he still has a system. He, his body's just beat up. He just can't do it the same way he used to. But when he was doing his thing, there was a system. Yes, he was talented, but there's a system to harness that talent. Serena Williams, Venus Williams, they had systems. Uh, Pete Sampras, uh, what's the dude? Uh, Djokovic in tennis. And what's the other dude in tennis right now? I can't remember the other guy's name. But they all got systems. They all, anybody who's a high performer, who is consistent in what they do, even if they're not famous, there is a system. So you, if you want to be a high level performer and be consistent in what you do, you need a system for what you're doing so that you can do it all the time with very little variance between performances. That's the definition of consistency. And consistency is a result of a system. And discipline is a result of the system and consistency. So with all that said, text me. You want to work with me directly? If you want to get my daily motivation text straight to your phone every single day for free? 
Text me right now. Here's my number, 305-384-6894. That'll get you my daily motivation message straight to your phone every day for free. And if you want to work with me direct, even if you don't want to work with me, text me. But if you want to work with me directly, the other thing you're going to do is go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. That link is down below in the description to this video. In that, in that link description down there, Work On Your Game University, that link is going to tell you all the ways you can work with me directly, all the steps that you need to take. It's very simple. It's a very simple website. Nobody can be confused by it as long as you know how to read. It'll tell you exactly what the steps are. That's workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre, all day.